that. You can see the snow dust already building as the field makes their way down the back stretch for the first time. We got a battle for the race lead as Ryan Spencer, the primary rider this today for that potent cataract collision racing Arctic cat. He's pulling right up to the back tailpipe of the 19 of Nichols. Yeah, Tyler Nichols, uh, he'll hold him off down out of that turn one, two area down that back straightaway, but Ryan Spencer has that machine. Uh, and old Zach Herfindahl on pit road. He was running in third. So tough break for the former I-500 winner for the 2018 event. We'll have to wait and see. We'll see if we can get one of our pit reporters down to the, the number five pit. Maybe just a driver change and some fuel. We'll wait and see. It's oh, battle for the race lead as Spencer goes high on the turn number four. There's a drag race down the 2,000-foot front stretch. Spencer on the high side. Nichols on the inside. They're side by side and turns one and two. Spencer uh, goes up on the high side, but that machine skips out on now Nichols' machine. It bounces sideways as they battle and Ryan Spencer, he'll slow to hold a slight lead down that back 2,000 foot straightaway. Uh, and the, the unique lines of both riders, Nick, Nichols on the far inside, Spencer on the far outside. Is that because Spencer wants to get that momentum going into the corners? Well, I think a couple things, Matt. They're both looking for the smoothest line and, you know... Uh, oh, and did not interrupt you, but Spencer Bahan off of turn number four takes over the race lead, but here comes Nichols powering back on the inside. Well, watch again. We watched that one lap ago, and it's about the same situation as they come down the front straightaway. You'll see them go under the bridge now. You can see Spencer a slight lead up on that higher group. Carl Nichols, he'll follow him on a turn two. One rider over as he's making his way back down from the hay bales as we try to identify the sled. Yeah, the rider, that machine laid down in the middle of the racetrack. It, it made contact with the hay bales and slid down. Hello, oh, it's the Hoos Racing number 67. And man, that team has had nothing but bad luck already. Went up into the turn two hay bales, and there he is. Right after into the hay bales, that was a hard lick by Danny Mackey in the 34 machine. They were running in second spot. Bouchard Racing Arctic Cat, the 99, still your leaders. They come down the long front straightaway here. The complete lap number 149. Well, one machine trouble down in that turn four. One machine tipped up on its side. You could see that is the number 10 machine, and he had a hip replacement the year before. Now, how in the world do you do that? That's an amazing amount of work. That guy is tough as nails, as we say. He sure is, and another ch lead change. Well, at least temporarily at the line. It was the 99 of Dylan Stevens retaking the lead, but since then, Ryan Spencer trying to get it back, and look at Dylan Stevens. A good one for that Bouchard racing number 99. Those two Arctic Cats get it on back and forth. The, uh, the 99 and the 21 is again down the long back straight, and we'll wait and see who will come out of that turn four corner first, but I think the pass was made down on the inside. That is the fifth lead change between the 21 Cataract Collision Arctic Cat and the 99 Bouchard racing Arctic Cat. Nine lead changes overall. The last five between the 21 and the 99. If anything, the crowd's gotten bigger as the afternoon has progressed. Absolutely. I mean, we give it to any of the fans that can that will stay for the entire 500 laps. We know there's so much as another lead change. That time, Ryan Spencer back by the 99 of Dylan Stevens. So now Spencer, who took the lead. Just a lap or so ago, back out in front, the 10th lead change of the afternoon. So we just got a report down pit road. Talk about it, uh, John Wick uh, just reporting in that uh, the high fax, uh, that's the sliders on the on the suspension being replaced on that number 13 of Eric Celestino. We are officially halfway through this year's I-500. 250 laps on the board. And I don't think anybody has left their spot on the banks here or of the I-500 track up here in Sault Ste. Michigan. Oh boy, look at here now, there. As we look, that is your leader, the number 21, with a problem. The ski, the right front ski, 
is broken or possibly the spindle, not sure. So your new leader taking over the lead, the number 28, the Nelson Racing Polaris. That machine has been around the top spots for the last 100 laps or so, and now they are the leader, Justin Tate, Andy Winslow, Marshall Bussey, the, the, the riders on that machine. As the bumps start to show here at the I-500, one machine down on the bottom, that's the number 62 machine. He had problems earlier back out on the track. That's Cameron Rittenauer, Fergus Fall, Minnesota rider in the RCI Richter Construction Polaris. So the 28 and the 44, the distance, 30 seconds between the 28 and the 44. Yeah, 30 seconds, about a three quarters of a lap here around the I-500, but uh, that's still time to go here as uh, we approach 50 to go. There's 52 laps currently ready to go or, or still to go here at the I-500 and uh, it can change. Oh, that was close. As he got, they may have touched there. The 28 of Justin Tate and the number 10 of, of John Booth. They may have come, made a slight contact there. They are 23 laps down, but they're looking at a top 10 finish. They are in 10th right now. Well, that's what you want to do. You want to finish top 10. It's payday. Oh, big trouble here in the front stretch as the field slows down and the rider gets right back up and that sled right in front of us. Uh, let's watch the teams as they make their way in. There's the Nelson Racing entry. Justin Tate gets off. If, uh, allow them to fuel it up to make sure they have enough Sunoco race fuel to get through the rest of the way. There he is. There's your leader. That is Justin Tate as that machine looks to be getting a little loose on the back end as he comes off. Watch now as they come down that front straight. We've seen a lot of air from both those machines on that big bump off turn four. There you see Justin Tate taking a look over his shoulder again. He wants to know at all times where that WV Performance Racing Polaris is. One to go. As we come to the line, there's the white flag displayed. One lap to go for Justin Tate on board that number 28, the Nelson Racing Polaris. Time running down on that number 44, a Keith Gainforth. Will he find some way to get up alongside is already your lead machine down that long back straightaway. He's on the gas, John. Yep, the longest 50 seconds of his life are right now. No doubt about that now is uh, you can see him down that back straightaway now and he'll make his way down into the corner. There he is right there as he comes down through turn three. Here he comes off turn three, a little bit sideways now, up on the pegs, he'll catch a little air, and here he comes down the front straightaway. Boy, he here looks comes good. Justin Tate down the straightaway, and watch the checkered flag victory, double flag victory. Justin Tate as he wow. punches his hand in the air in celebration. Wow, up on the pegs, what a ride that was for your winner in the number 28, the Nelson Racing Polaris.